How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Okay, students, just wait for your friends to join so then we can start. Uh, uh, uh. All right, students, so you're having your books already with you? Uh, Mathematics. Uh. So today, <clears throat> We are going to start from page number 159, 159. So students, you remember already about uh, reading clock, how we are going to read the clock, analog clock and digital clock. You remember already, students? Last in our last class, we learn about reading clock. All right, so let's start. All right, so here, uh, students, you can see. Uh, on your screen today, uh, we are going to start from read. We have to read each analog clock, write the time in words. So we have given the pictures of the analog clock, right? And we have to read the time, like what is the time on each clock? And then we have to write in words, all right? So here, each clock, they having the time, uh, some of them, it's in the daytime, some of the time it's in the nighttime. Okay, so you remember already students, uh, for daytime, from midnight until afternoon, 12 afternoon, uh, that's daytime, right? So that one we write AM with that. And then nighttime actually starts from uh, 12 afternoon until midnight. So we're supposed to write PM with that. Okay, so now look at the uh, picture number one. Picture number one, read the clock. What's the time right now? <clears throat> it's in the daytime. So here you can see we're having uh, three hands on the analog clock. So the short one, you see here, the short one, it represents hour. And the thicker, longer one, it represents minutes. And the thinner one, the longer one, it represents seconds, right? So here, as we can see, uh, the time here, it's four, uh, the short hand, it's around four, right? So that means hour. And the longer one, it's around two. So here it means minutes. So from 12 until two, here we having 10 minutes, like one hour. We already learned one hour having 60 minutes, right? So from 12 to one, it means five minutes. Then from 12 to two, it's right here, they're having 10 minutes. So as you can see here, the short hand it's around four and the long hand it's around 10. So which means four, <coughs> four, 10, right? And here, if we look to the other hand, the, the thinner hand, the second hand, so that one is around 50. So which means four, 10 and 50 seconds right it's in the daytime now on the other side you can see here 
the having uh, the short hand, it's close to eight, right? So the hour hand, it's close to eight. And the long hand, as you can see here, it's around 10, right? So that means eight, 10. And if we look here to the, uh, to the second hand, the tiny one, the tiny hand, it's around 45, so nine here. So that means 45. So the time right here is 8, 10, and 45 seconds. Similar like that, number two, you can see here uh, the short hand is on seven, right? And the long hand, you can see here, it's around one. So from 12 to one, we're having how many minutes? Five minutes, right? So how we are going to read? Seven or five, right? And if we look to the seconds hand, so it's uh, in between two and three. So if we count here, so it's around 12. So which means seven or five and 12 seconds. Okay, now another clock you can see here, if you look to the uh, short hand, so the short hand here, it's, <clears throat> Sorry, it's towards nine, right? So which means our hand, it's towards nine. So nine hour, right? And if you look to the longer hand, it's towards one. So which means five. So how we are going to read it? Nine or five. And then if you look to the second hand, so second hand, it's right here, the four. So from 12 until four, we have how many? <clears throat> we having how many dots here? So it's around 20, right? So which means 20 seconds, right? So that means nine or five and 20 seconds. Okay, now number three. Who is going to read the time? What's the time here? And it's in the night time. Anyone can tell me, students? Students, anyone can read the time? Picture number three. Me. Okay, go ahead. The thing is, um, ten, ten PM. Uh huh. Thirty five minute. Uh huh. And. Mm. Forty six seconds. Uh -huh. It's quite close, but here, uh, if you would like to read, so as we can see here, the short hand it's in between ten and eleven, so which means ten o'clock, right? And the long hand it's towards seven, so that means thirty-five. So uh, first of all, if we read both. So that means 10.35, right? 10.35. And seconds, it's around approximately 42, right? So which means seven, uh, 10.35 and 42 seconds. Okay, now, how about the next clock on the right side? Who is going to read? As you can see here, the short hand, the long hand, and the second.
Mm, I have answered it too. Okay, what's your answer? I answered one, one a.m. 25 minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, students, remember one thing. When you are reading the time, so don't add a m p m in in the middle okay like for example you have to read together right so here like the time is 1 25 okay so 1 25 both hours and minutes both we have to read together okay and after that you can add a m or p m okay so the time here is 1.25 and the seconds are approximately 42 seconds, right? Or <coughs> uh, it's around uh, in between nine and 10. So that means around 47, 47 seconds, okay? So while you're reading, remember one thing, don't, uh, you have to read hour and minutes both together right so 125 and 47 minutes and if you like to add am or pm so you have to read after you read hours and minute okay similar like that so the correct answer is the first one 10 35 and 40 second 42 seconds and uh, the other one is 1.25 and 47 seconds. Okay, now the last one, number four. So number four, here we have, you can see the short hand, it's around six, right? Uh, the short hand, it's in between uh, three and four, and the long hand, it's on six. So that means 3.30, right? And if you look to the second, so it's close to 50. So that's around 58, right? So the time would be 3.30 and 58 seconds. Then on the right side, you can see here the short hand. The short hand, it's on 11, right? In the long hand, it's quite close to five, around one, okay? So which means five. And the second one is uh, around 10. So that means 11 or 5 and 10 seconds. Okay, students, so this is how you are going to read. You have to do more practice. All right, so let's continue. So here we have now uh, what we have to do here. So here we have to uh, learn how we are going to uh read the periods of time okay so here uh for example like uh, the move start at 12 30 pm and finish 3 15 pm so how long is the move so here is you can see here if for example any any move any <coughs> uh any movie here a movie start from 12 30 pm until and finish 3 15 pm so how long is the movie, right? So starting time is 2.30 p.m., right? So if we count the time, 2.30 p.m. and 1 p.m., in between, how many minutes we have? From 2.30 to 1 p.m., we're having 30 minutes, right? Then from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m., so we have one hour, right? So one hour or 60 minutes, okay? Now from 2 p.m. until 3 p.m. So we having another one hour. What was the finishing time of the movie? The finishing time of the movie is 3.15 p.m. So in between 3 p.m. and 15 p.m. So we have another 15 minutes, right? So now let's count. So we're having 30 minutes, one hour, one hour and 15 minutes. So that means total we have how many hours? Two hours, right? And how many minutes? Minutes we're having 30 plus 
15, so which means 45. So the movie is two hours and 45 minutes long. Okay, this is how you are going to read the period of time. Now, uh, uh, look one more time here. But we're having the movie starting time is 2.30 p.m., right? And the finishing time is 3.15 p.m. So what we have to find? We have to find how long is the movie, right? So starting point, uh, starting time is 12.30. So we put it that way, 12.30 and 1 p.m. In between have how many minutes? They're having total 30 minutes. Then from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we're having one hour. And then from 2 p.m. till 3 p.m., we're having another one hour, right? And the finishing time was 3.15. So from 3 p.m. to 3.15, we're having another 15 minutes. So here, if we, uh, we, we, do, we, we count the sum of that, so we have how many hours? We having one each, so that means two hours, right? So we having two hours and 30 minutes plus 15 minutes. So 30 plus 15 means 45. So the total time, the movie is two hour, 45 minutes long. Okay, so here now, let's be having some of the practice, okay? So we having, uh, we having, work start a uh, starting time and work finishing time okay so number one we having eight o'clock right so eight o'clock is <coughs> so eight o'clock is the starting time right and then we having a finishing time so the finishing time is around four right so how many hour is the working duration so if we count here from eight until four, from eight until four, we have total how many hours? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means eight hours, right? So the answer is eight hours is the total duration time from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now we look to the other clock here, so we're having a starting time. It one starting time is one. Starting time is one, right? And then the finishing time is 3:30. So from one o'clock until 3:30, how many hours we have? Let's count. So here. From one until two, we having one hour. Then from two until three, we having another one hour, right? Then from three until 3.30, so we have half, right? So we have half. So that means how many hour? Two and a half hours, right? So here you look, uh, you, have, you can count one more time. This work starting time is one o'clock, right? And the finishing time is 3.30, right? So if we count the, the work, uh, if we count the hours, right? So first of all, from one until, from one until two, we have how many hour? We have one hour. Now from two until three, we have another one hour. And from three, until 3.30, we have 30 minutes, right? So we have total two hour and 30 minutes. Okay, similar like that. Now look at the number three, picture number three. So picture number three here is the night time, right? So as you can see here, the work starting time is seven, right? 7.10. So the starting time is 7.10 and the finishing time is 10.20, right? So now if we count here from seven, in between seven, eight, we have one hour, right? And say eight and nine, we have another one hour and nine to 10, we have another one hour. 
So we have total how many hours? We having three hours. Now look at the time. So the starting time was seven, 10 minutes, right? And the finishing time is 10, 20. So from 10 until 20, we have how many minutes? We having another 10 minutes. So total we have one, two, three hour and 10 minutes. Okay, students, you understand that? How we are going to read the period of time? Now picture number three, look one more time here. We having starting time is 7.10, right? 7.10. So from 7.10 and the finishing time is 10.20, right? 10.20. So from 7.10 until 8.10, we have how many hour? One hour. Then from 8.10 until 9.10, we having another one hour. Then from 9.10 until 10.10, 10, we having another one hour. So total we have how many hours? Three hours. So the time finish, uh, the finishing time was 20 minutes, right? Here it's 10 minutes. So from 10 until 20, we having 10 minutes. So that means one, two, three. So three hours and 10 minutes. Okay, students, you understand that? Now sure. you are going one minute. Student, touch your ear, please. Touch your ear, please. Students, matom. Touch your ear. Close your eye. Close your eye. Close your eye. And clap your hand ten times. Clap your hand ten times. Wear your mouth. Wear your mouth. Touch, please. Okay, clap your hand ten times again. Deal, clap your hand ten times. Okay, open your eyes. Okay, let's see. All right, students, wake up. Don't be sleepy. <laughs> okay. All right, so here now, students, what we have to do here? So here we have to draw the hours and minutes hand on each analog clock, okay? And what you have to do to show what time it is. So here we having uh, analog clocks, right? So all these analog clocks, they having uh, working, uh, start working time and work finish time, okay? So the information given to us, that one is starting time, and it's already mentioned, but here on the uh, work finish it, that we have to draw. We have to draw the hands, the hour hands and minutes hands, okay? And the difference, the duration of time is given to us already. So here, for example, if you look here, we're having uh, the starting working, work starts in a one clock, we having work start eight, nine the hour hand is on nine right and the minutes hand it's on 12 right so it start starting time is nine nine mm -hmm. o'clock right and then we having the finishing time we have to write the duration is given to us how many hours the work finish in three hours so what we have to do we have to count from nine o'clock plus three hours, right? So what will be the time? The time we have to draw on the each clock. So for example, nine until 12. So three hours was the working duration. So nine, then 10, 11 and 12. So that means three hours, right? So both of the hand, it have to be on 12 o'clock, right? Now, similar like that, we having another uh, number two. We having the time starting time. That one is <coughs> the starting time. It's also given to us 
and we have to draw we have to draw the finishing hands the duration is given to us that one is 5 hours and 20 minutes right so 5 hour and 20 minutes what we have to do we have to draw the hands both of them so students number 2 number 3 and both of them you have to draw by yourself in your books okay you have to draw the hour time and draw the minutes time okay students can you do that students it's your work can you draw by yourself and your books okay um, yes okay so number two i already solved for you the first one right so the first one i already solved for you so number two number three and then question number three here we also having three different clocks right so here uh, in the number two what we have we having the finishing time we having departure time and arrival time so the clocks the hands they have they are arrival time we already have in all of three pictures right but what you have to do you have to uh, draw according to the time the time is also given the duration the travel time is also given to you and you have to draw in the upper clocks okay so the first two and the the rest of three you have to draw by yourself okay and calculate the time all right so now here uh, we have to find about the relationship of time unit okay what is the relationship of time units so here we having a conversion table for d for day time right so here you can see this is the table here so we having 60 seconds right so 60 second 60 second is equal to one minute right or you can say one minute have 60 second. Now, 60 minutes is equal to one hour, or you can say one hour have 60 minutes. Now, 24 hour is one day. Okay, students, so this is the uh, conversion table for day time, okay, for day time unit. You have to remember all the time. 60 seconds is equal to one minute or one minute having 60 seconds now another 60 minutes is one hour or you can say one hour has 60 minute then 24 hour is one day 24 hour is one day or you can say in one day we having 24 hours right now another table you can see here conversion of table for year units so seven day is one week one week having how many days one week having seven days and roughly 30 days is one month or you can say approximately one month having 30 days right and 52 weeks is equal to one year or one year have 52 weeks and 12 months is one year one year have how many months one year one year have total 12 months and roughly one year have 365 days okay students so you have to remember this one week having seven days all right seven day is one week and roughly 30 days is one month then 52 weeks is one year and 12 months is one year one year having 52 weeks one year having 12 months and roughly 365 days is one year okay so for example we having a question what is two hours 
sorry what is two hours in minutes so here we can see one hour having how many minutes one hour having 60 minutes right and here what they are asking they are asking about two hours what is two hour in in minutes so one hour is equal to 60 minutes then two hour is equal to 60 multiplied by two so two multiplied by 60 is equal to 120 okay so the answer is two hour is 120 minutes now what is 36 month in years right so here <clears throat> How many months we having in year? We having 12 months in year, right? So what is the question? The question is, what is 36 month in years, right? So what we're gonna do here, 12 months is equal to one year and 36 month is equal to how many year? We have to do division, right? So 36 are the months one year having 12 months so 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3 so the answer is 36 months is 3 years okay all right students so you have to remember this table all right all the time seven day is equal to one week roughly 30 day is one month 52 weeks is one year, 12 months is one year, 365 days is one year. And on the other side, 60 sec seconds is one, mi one minute, 60 minutes is one hour, 24 hour is one day. Now here we're having some of the questions and what we have to do, we have to fill the gaps, okay? So now read the, Sentence is given to us. So number one, Harry spends 60 minutes each day on lesson revision. So he spends dash hours on lesson revision each day. <coughs> so the question is asking that Harry spends 60 minutes every day on lesson revision. So what we have to find, we have to find the hours, how many hours? How many hours it will become? So 30 minutes is equal to 30 minutes is equal to one hour. So which means 60, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 60 minutes is equal to one hour. So here we having 60 minutes each day, right? So what we have to find, we have to find hour. So 60 seconds is equal to 60 minutes is equal to one hour. So the answer is one hour. Okay, now look at the, read the sentence number two. Here we have, Daniel drives his car every day in a week. He drives his car days, days a week. So we have the information, Daniel drives his car, drives his car every day in a week. So every day in a week, Daniel drives his car. So he drives his car how many days in a week? One week have how many days, students? Students, one week have how many days? Seven. Seven, very good. So the answer the, here is seven. Because here Daniel drive his car every day in a week. So what we have to find, we have to find he drives his car seven days a week. Okay, now number three. Charles uh, practices her aerobic exercise once a day in <clears throat> once a day in a year. Charles practiced. Uh, how many times? So here we have to find how many times. So for example, <coughs> the information given to us is child's practice her aerobics exercise every day. Okay, so what we have to find? 
in a year in a year charles has practices how many times so one year have how many times students one year have how many days um, 365 very good so 365 that is the correct answer here now number four mom cooks for my family every day right mom cooks for my family every day so mom cooks days days a month how many days um, a month if mom cook every day 30 30, 30. very good as you can see here we uh, each month have roughly how many days 30 days so 30 days is one month right so mom cooks for my family every day so mom cooks 30 days a month okay now number five shown tiers of a page of monthly tier of calendar at the end of each month at the end of the year these pages will have been thrown off so here the information given to us is well, the information is about shown shown tiers of a page of monthly tier of calendar at the end of each month at the end of each month of the year so this how many pages will be torn off so one year have how many months One year have how many months students? One year we having 12 months. So the answer would be here, 12 pages will be thrown off. Okay, students, so this is all uh, for today about mathematics. So don't forget to remember all these tables, okay? These information, they are very important for the conversion, okay? To find the relationship of time. Okay, students, so now this is all for mathematics. See you again in the next class after a break. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. See you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.